One, two, three, fuck it. My darling, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you. Hey what's up people this is Katie Clardy back again with another video and today I am going to show you how to create stylish custom widgets for your phone which will take your personalization experience to the next level. For this we are going to use a simple app which is called Zubo widget and it's out there in the play store for you to download so just go ahead and download and install it. There are actually two versions one which is paid and the other one is free but you can use either one of them and the free one is just fine which is uh, which, which uh, I'm going to use and then just go back to the home screen and add a new empty Zubo widget there are a couple of sizes but it doesn't really matter because you can resize them later so drag it and bring it onto your home screen resize it if you want and then tap on the widget now here you can see a bunch of pre preset templates uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, start from scratch and now once you uh, click on empty you will see a whole bunch of options which will make sense later so hold on to that uh, for now you just have to click on layout now here uh, it's now here let me explain this is sort of an empty canvas where you need to add elements or modules or some uh, which will display and represent stuff like weather and time and even free RAM other other stuff like that all sort of, uh, sorts of things which you, you can discover later so for now you need to uh, click on this plus button add button which is on the top and here you find a bunch of modules now for since I don't want to make this video too long I'll just show you how to uh, deal with three modules I'm going to use two forms of text uh, and one scalable icon set and a progress bar so we'll start off with the first text this sort of this text is going to be for a quote and so firstly I'll give this module a name if you want to you can give it a name if you don't want to it's perfectly fine so I'll go ahead and type quote here and then uh, here uh, a whole bunch of uh, stuff are there here x offset y offset L we'll look onto this just in a minute but firstly let's edit the text now text content is just uh, a series of exp examples nothing to show in that if you want to edit the text manually you need to select this option uh, delete the existing thing and type in your text here I'll just type some random uh, get stuff done and a full stop at the end now once I'd, I'm done I'd like to change the font a bit let's make it a cooler so let's go ahead and select cool vertica yeah that looks that looks fine and this is too small actually so for resizing you need to just tap these arrow keys a bunch under font size and you need to tap this thing a bunch until you get your perfect size uh, according to your preference once you are done we need to position this widget because this looks out of place of course now here the things x offset and y offset the main thing about super widget is that it's not that user friendly you can't drag things around and so you need to manually do it by providing coordinates and y offset y offset is the vertical anchor distance x offset is the horizontal anchor difference screen anchor means that if you specify your location the module will stick there no matter how big you resize it the widget and other things they are, they are not much of use you can add a shadow here um, you can add shadows if you want by going into the shadow blurry uh, shadow defocus index and reposition in the same exact way you can also uh, scale it if you want by reducing the height and width also rotate it curve it a bit and adjusting all sorts of things and let's move on to the next text which is going to show it's pretty much like the same exact way but here I'm going to use predefined variables 
to show to show text which and this is mainly used in text which are not constant but they need to be keep updating they need to be uh, always updated and fresh uh, stuff like uh, free ram space and weather conditions time they need they keep changing so for those we have a st st we have something called variable fields now these are hashtags of some sort but these are codes which zubo widget understands and the, uh, accordingly it will fetch the date so here i'll just go ahead and select climatic conditions and today's weather temperature and along with a comma which is a string and then just hit ok and then just uh, adjust the font size and the positioning and a bit the positioning is a bit tricky sometimes and yeah that's pretty much it thirdly is the icon set this one is the easiest one to uh, modify because you, you, there are not a lot of options in it which you will actually need uh, you can uh, it's the same way you can go ahead select the icon set and also select the shadows if you want uh, you can reposition it just like I showed and also size it resize it if you want and also uh, give it a function give it a value to present and then lastly I like to sh I'll show the progress bar now the progress bar in default can only show the battery and also the hours passed in the day uh, the battery one seems to be more useful and it's just same and easy like the other uh, modules and then you can just adjust the width the color the value the same way as I did it and once you're done with everything come back to this again widget settings you the the only useful option here is the widget background you need to drag the slider to the extreme right which will make the background completely transparent which I like and sometimes it goes unnoticed but whatever the rest of the features uh, I don't think you'll need it I didn't need them and these are sort of confusing stuff and this one widget on tap action is not available in the free you can also uh, change stuff like location and widget on tap action which is actually a paid feature and this is the final result looks pretty good huh? you can be more creative than me <laughs> to get more results like better than this and also pull off some creative new designs you can also uh, use the existing preset templates and modify to suit your own liking and needs and that's pretty much it also follow me on twitter and tweet your home screen visit styles at me at kd cloudy and i'll re retweet the best thanks for watching hope this video helped like this video if you liked it dislike if you disliked it share it with your friends subscribe if you want to see more and i'll catch you guys in the next one cheers